congratulations on your new gig um, and what you have done to to get it. I, I just want to jump in real quick here first about uh, your journey. So you started as an intern, right, in 05 for the Broncos with Mike Shanahan. How did you first get hooked up with Mike Shanahan? Because obviously that started a journey that led to, um, I guess, this phone call in a way. <laughs> Well, well, uh, yeah. The journey to this phone call, as we, as we'll call it, um, <laughs> that that was uh, that was an even longer story. But there's a whole story about me, um, basically um, becoming a, a a ball boy um, for for the Broncos. My mom um, met my eventual stepdad, who's a video guy, and that got to me being in college, trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my my career checking out some iBanking stuff, seeing that I wouldn't be good at that because passion for numbers was not my gig. So then um, reaching out to Mike Shanahan to try to get a letter of recommendation was all. was, hey, can you write a letter of recommendation? I'm trying to get a GA job um, because I, I knew football was my passion. Well, he he uh, he appreciated my work as a ball boy. Um, you know, I wasn't a coach's kid, so – I definitely worked harder, or um, I, I, I was just sprinting everywhere, sweating, doing all anything and everything because I was just so appreciative. I was a, I was a fan, so it, it was um, uh, a surreal experience for me. Anyway, so he said, "All right, um, I'll do you one better. I'll give you a summer internship." Well, that summer internship was kind of fake; it was made up. It was just you can come and hang out for the summer and and see what coaches do. Um, well. Uh, I, I kind of pinpointed that there was a lot of stuff going on that coaches didn't really want to do and they weren't paying me. So I was like, you know what, if I do a bunch of odd jobs by the time and do them well, that no one else wants to do by the time, um, the season roll around, he'll, uh, he'll, no one will want to get rid of me cause they won't want to do these terrible jobs. And <laughs> sure, sure enough, that's what happened. We went to the AFC championship game. Gary Kubiak at the head job with the Houston Texans, and um, I got a I got a full paid job. And that's how you your coaching career began, and then eventually, you know, obviously back with Shanahan in D.C., and then Quinn in Atlanta, and then eventually with Kyle in San Francisco. When when did you realize um, offense or running and the game on that side of the ball was your your area of expertise? When did that? hit you mike mcdaniel well well rich that's a great question thank you You know why because it was uh washington redskins and i can pinpoint it it was um uh washington redskins 2011 where i just got hired back um i'd spent two years away um from kyle and i got hired back to the redskins i last time i was with him i was you know his uh his understudy and i was kind of the young um uh, quote smart coach or whatever, um, <laughs> then went to the UFL. Get then like the first two days on the job, I got hired February fifteenth, two thousand eleven, and um, they were already starting what we call cut ups in the off season, where you're just watching all of your uh, all of your pass plays by concept in a staff room with your entire offensive staff, and uh, those first two days were locked up in that room. And outflanking Kyle um, was Matt Lafleur and Sean McVay, and they were just—I mean, I, let, let's be honest—I couldn't get a word in edgewise. They had, <laughs> they had all the answers, and I was like, "What is this? You know, I'm supposed to be the guy that you know, the young coach, and here these guys were. It was a pretty intimidating process. So that happened for about two weeks, and then um, then we started on the run, the run game, and the entire time um, we're, we're going through you know, half the portion of cutups, um, Kyle's only talking to Chris Furster. And I'm like, wow, well, um, I know one thing that they're not talking during, and that's the run cutups. Maybe if I go uh, get with, you know, maybe I can ask Kyle to be in the offensive line room. And if I know that angle, um, you know, I can, I can have some added value there. So it was like a survival or competitiveness or whatever. Um, and, and, you know, their their esteem that kind of pushed me in that direction. And, you know, then I, I ended up being in the line room for two years and became the receiver coach. But then once we got fired from 
the Redskins and went to Cleveland, um, I was the only guy that Kyle um, took. So I coached the receivers, but then also did the run game and ended up doing the run game for Kyle from 2014 on. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.